of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord be with you. We keep today the feast of Pope Saint Damasus the First. He was Pope for 18 years in the middle of the fourth century, a time of enormous importance and controversy in Christian theology. And although he didn't attend in person, he sent his delegates to the second of the great ecumenical councils of the church at Constantinople in the year 381, the council which is largely responsible for us having the creed which we say Sunday by Sunday at Mass in the form in which we now have it. Pope Damasus was also influential in the history of the Holy Scriptures. And it was Pope Damasus who encouraged Saint Jerome to perform his lifelong work of translating the Holy Scriptures into the Latin tongue, into that version of the language of the Empire, which still exists and is with us to this day. And not only that, but in terms of establishing the precise content of the books of Holy Scripture, what scholars call the canon. And so it is to Pope Damasus that we owe a great debt of gratitude for the faith and for the worship of the Church as we have had it for these last 17 centuries. We also, of course, keep our Advent theme in this Mass, and we use the Mass, the readings of Mass, for the Friday of the second week. As with Isaiah, we look forward to the birth of the Messiah. This Mass is offered for the repose of the soul of Peter Bouch, who died recently. My dear friends, to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries for the living and for the dead, we call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may constantly exalt the merits of your martyrs, whom Pope St. Damas has so venerated and loved. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I, the Lord your God, teach you what is good for you. I lead you in the way you must go. If only you had been alert to my commandments, your happiness would have been like a river, your integrity like the waves of the sea. Your children would have been numbered like the sand, your descendants as many as its grains. Never would your name have been cut off or blotted out before me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Anyone who follows you, O Lord, will have the light of life. Anyone who follows you, O Lord, will have the light of life. Happy indeed is the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor lingers in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of scorners, but whose delight is the law of the Lord, and who ponders his law day and night. 
Anyone who follows you, O Lord, will have the light of life. He is like a tree that is planted beside the flowing waters, that yields its fruit in due season, and whose leaves shall never fade, and all that he does shall prosper. Anyone who follows you, O Lord, will have the light of life. Not so the wicked, not so, for they, like winnowed chaff, shall be driven away by the wind. For the Lord guards the way of the just, but the way of the wicked leads to doom. Anyone who follows you, O Lord, will have the light of life. Alleluia. Amen. See, the King, the Lord of the world, will come. He will free us from the yoke of our bondage. Alleluia. Amen. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus spoke to the crowds. What description can I find for this generation? It is like children shouting to each other as they sit in the marketplace. We played the pipes for you and you would not dance. We sang dirges and you would not be mourners. For John came neither eating nor drinking and they said, He is possessed. The Son of Man came, eating and drinking, and they say, Look, a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Yet wisdom has been proved right by her actions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Yes. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my friends, that this, my sacrifice and yours, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the glory of his holy church. Accept this sacrifice from your people, we pray, O Lord, and make what is offered for your glory in honour of blessed Damasus a means to our eternal salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvellous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love, and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage, their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exultation we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, 
Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the people, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Bernard our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember your servant Peter, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the King, the power, and the glory of yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Amen.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are they who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Good Shepherd has laid down his life for his sheep.
let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, stir up in us that fire of charity with which blessed Damasus burned ardently as he gave himself unceasingly for your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The fourth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Saint Damasus the First. Pray for us.